Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is going to be part 6C of our hack and slash tutorial. So let's go over, open up Unity, and we're going to want to create a new class again. So we'll go over to our character classes folder, create, we'll make a new C sharp script. Now this script is going to be called modified stat, if I spell it right. Double click it to open it up in Mono Development. And just like before, we're going to get rid of these. No more using statements. We will be adding one a little later on. But let's get rid of that. We're going to inherit from our base stat again. Make sure you set the name of your class. And there we go. So this class here, if you remember at the beginning of part 6a, when we dragged the slider for any of our attributes back and forth, you could see the adjustments being made in your vitals and also in your uh, skills. If you don't remember that, just go back, watch 6a, it's right at the very beginning, you'll see it. Uh, we want to have a way to set up some stats that can be modified by our attributes. And this is the class we're going to be using for the base of all of those other classes. So let's start off by adding our own using statement. So we're going to be using system.collection.generic. Now this using statement up here, if you're still new to C Sharp, but let's say you're familiar with Java, it's the exact same as the import. Uh, if you haven't used Java, uh, I don't mean JavaScript, I mean actual Java. Uh, what this does is incorporate a bunch of classes that you're going to have access to inside of your the class that you're making, or at least this whole file that you'll be using. So the reason why we incorporate this is because we want to make a, a list. So this is going to be a private list. And you'll want to pick one with the little less than and greater than signs if you have more than one available. Let's just put the greater and less than signs there for now. And we're just going to call this underscore mods. Now you're going to have a squiggly red line there until you actually fill out something in between here. But before we do that, let's actually create a structure, a public structure that we can add into there. A structure is something like a class, but it, it has no methods. It's just a a collection of variables that you're going to keep grouped together. So let's start off by creating a public struct and we're going to call this modifying attribute. And then inside of here we're also going to create the variables that we want it to store in here. So we're going to create a public attribute now this is the class attribute here, so we're going to be storing instances of this class here, and we'll just call it lowercase attribute. And we'll also want to make a public float, and I'm going to call mine ratio. So now if we go up here and add modifying the attribute even though it didn't autofill it should be okay let's go to unity make sure there's no errors and there are none now let's make sure we add a comment so when we come back later on we can tell exactly what this variable was supposed to store for us and it's just simply going to be a list of attributes that mod if I this stat. I'm going to create one more variable. It's going to be private. It's going to be an int. And we're just going to call this mod value. And this variable is this simply going to store the amount uh, added to the base value from the modifiers. Now let's create our constructor. So it's going to be public 
if I spell it right, it will be. And modifying step. And in here, we'll want to set up our variables. So mods equals new list of modifying attributes. Don't forget the parentheses on the end. And we'll also want to adjust or set the default value for mod value to equal zero. Now the next thing we're going to want to add is a way to add these modifying attributes to our list. So let's create that method next. So it's going to be public. It will not return anything. And we'll just call it add modifier. And it is going to have a parameter of modifying attribute. And we're just going to call it mod. Now to add this to our list that we've created up here, we'll just simply call the name that we gave the variable. So it's mod with an underscore in front of it, or mods with an S, dot add. And then what we passed in, which was mod. And that's it for that function. Now the next function we create, we're going to want to be able to calculate the amount that we're supposed to modify our base value by. So let's create a new method. This is going to be a private one. Only this class will have access to it. It will not return anything, so it's a void. And we'll call it calculate mod value. It doesn't take any parameters. Now at the start of here, even though we've set the mod value to equal zero, we're going to want to make sure that it's actually equal to zero. So we're going to reset it again. So the first thing we'll want to do is make sure that our list that we created up here has at least one value in it. So if underscore mods dot count is greater than zero. So if we have at least one value in there, then what we're going to do is iterate through all of the modifying attributes that we have in there, calculate how much they're going to contribute to our mod value based on their ratio and their current base value, and then assign that to a mod value. So let's start that off. We'll do a for each loop. And we're going to have to type it as a modifying attribute. We'll just call it ATT. And we're looking for all the modifying attributes in mods. So now if we take our mod value, we can add to it the attribute dot attribute dot adjusted value and we're going to multiply that by its ratio. Now remember because this is a float and if we look back at the adjusted value that is an int. That means whatever is returned in here from this calculation is going to be a float and mod value is actually an int, we're going to have to typecast it. So let's get that out of the way now. There we go. So this ratio is really just uh, how much of the attribute goes towards the modifying value. So you could have, say, one third of the attribute gets added to our, our skill that we're going to be using. In our next video, we'll take a look at something called polymorphism, and I'll see you there.